Hey, before that thing sucks the life out of you, will you help me out over here? Yeah, give me a minute. Remember when we used to live together and I always used to do the dishes and you couldn't even give me the courtesy of rinsing your plate off? Wow. Thank you for reminding me how good you are at never forgetting anything. So you're saying if we used paper plates and plastic sporks, we'd still be together? <laughs> well, I wouldn't go that far. Does this smell like smoke to you? I'm not sure. Anyway, how long have you known Stu? Uh, about a year. That long? Yeah, funny thing is, we only had a few interactions at the restaurant. I think he knew my certificate getting lost was bullshit and felt bad. Certificate? Yeah, it's a paper they give you after you've been there for a year to celebrate a small raise. I wasn't being sentimental. I was only pissed because the paper they printed on was perfect for rolling smokes. How do you know? Oh, my coworker who went through new hire with me had a crush on me, so she let me use hers. Don't you think that's a little inconsiderate? Not at all. He wouldn't print it if he didn't want you to have it. About six months ago, Stu started working the overnight shift with me. Said he couldn't handle days anymore because he didn't want to risk running into Karen. One night, I forgot he switched, and he walked in on me and said co-worker in the stockroom. He just laughed and told me not to soil the creamed corn. That's when I knew secretly he doesn't really give a shit. I guess I didn't realize how bad it got. We didn't talk a lot when they were going through the breakup. I definitely wouldn't have invited that bitch if it were my house, that's for sure. Well, it's not your house, it's Stu's, and no matter how weird it is, we have to try and support his decisions on who he invited tonight. Something tells me he's gonna wish he'd taken my advice when tonight's all said and done. And why is that? Because I know something that he doesn't know, and she doesn't know that I know what I know. And what you know is... When they were trying to get pregnant, he hurt her feelings so bad that she cheated on him to hurt him back. She's probably here to make it seem like it wasn't a big deal. You know, like, she's handling the breakup better than him. The real question is why you would invite her. Well, she told me that he told her that he had mourned the relationship, but wasn't ready to bury the friendship. That's pretty deep for someone so shallow. It seems that way, doesn't it? When he texted me to check out the event invite, I was staring at the moon on a beach in Hawaii, and I did not want to even think of coming home. You don't miss your kids? I love them, but I love my me time, too. And they're a couple of night owls, so they're fine. Victoria's Secret? Yep. Secret's out, I guess. It's weird being in a house I helped pick out with someone else's child on the fridge. I'm not doing this right now. When else are we supposed to? During truth or dare? Is that when? Listen. You were my friend before we dated, and I want you to be my friend still, even though I'm with someone new. But you have to meet me in the middle. Fine. We'll discuss this again at breakfast. You're going to call me during morning meal. Uh, no. I'm saying I'm too drunk to drive, and I refuse to pay for a ride, so you're stuck with me. I don't think that's a good idea. The couch is spoken for, and I don't think your ultrasound machine or guitar you left here make good substitutes for blankets and pillows. We can sleep pillows. in the same bed like we have hundreds of times before. Trust me, nothing's going to happen. We both wanted it to end, remember? Old Baron Karen thinks I miss sleeping on the edge of my own bed, with no blankets, listening to a cargo plane full of screaming llamas crash into a lake also full of more loud llamas. Do I need to go into more feminine reasons to explain why you're overreacting to my idea. Friends are here, time to shut up. It's Stu and True time, just like the old days. You ready to kick their asses? Truth the Dare doesn't have any teams, but yes, I'm ready. <laughs> After you. Hey, what is that? 
an old family recipe. Don't worry about it. We have music, booze, and friends. All the ingredients for a good time. Okay, so how should we do this? Girls and guys? All I know is someone is getting a lap dance tonight. Whatever we're doing, can someone please turn on some fucking music? Okay, please don't high five over me. It gives me flashbacks. <laughs> I was at the third annual Best Brownie in Townie contest, and I shit my pants. <laughs> my pants were shitted. husband that I set goals and attain them. Take that, you asshole! <laughs> Listen, I know things got out of hand and you feel weird, but you don't have to bury yourself in your phone. I'm not. Everything's fine. You're the one who keeps bringing it up. I'm just saying, letting your guard down once in a while doesn't make you weak. It actually shows bravery. That's funny, coming from a man who takes showers with swim trunks on. Those words weren't necessary. I'm sensitive about my body, and I told you that in confidence. Everyone else shared big deal stories, and your truth is a bathing preference? I've got other stuff, too. Like what? Honey, please, you don't have to embarrass yourself further. If you don't want to share, it's fine. Well, I was on a bike ride with my friend one day when we went to the house of a boy who was mentally challenged. He was a huge wrestling fan. Toys, trading cards, tapes, you name it. He wore the same gray and brown clothes every day to look like his favorite wrestler, Deathbringer. Well, my friend and I wrote his name on a piece of paper, substituting the R for a W to emulate the kid's speech impediment. When I handed it to him, he started shouting, Deathbringer! Deathbringer! Then, out of nowhere, my friend ripped it out of his hands and said, This isn't fucking yours, you dumb shit. Then he slapped him across the face. As we rode away, I could hear him crying in the distance for his mother at the top of his lungs. She died already. 
two years prior. How's that for a story? Listen. The truth has to come out sometime. I know something about someone here, but I don't know how some of you will take it. We've all known each other for years. There's nothing we can't handle. What? What could you possibly know that we don't? It's about Karen. You don't know anything about me. Listen, you're just trying to get attention, and it's sick the levels you'd go to to ruin a perfectly good evening. I wish I didn't. No, I suggest you take your phone and get out. I'm not the one who did something wrong. It's that bitch Karen who cheated on Stu. Who the hell do you think you are coming in here making up bullshit about me and trying to turn my friends against me? From what I hear, you like to be against all kinds of things. Bent over, usually. Alright, that's enough. You can't talk to someone that way in my home no matter how drunk or mad you are. I'm just telling you the truth, man. Not only did she cheat, but she lied to you about not being able to get pregnant. Really? You're gonna believe this drunk child over me? Why do you care what Stu thinks anyway? He fucking left you! I thought you said you were sterile. Yeah, it's what you said. You said you wouldn't tell. Everyone knows we tell each other everything. Ha! I told you your husband was weak. Well, at least we trust each other. Or maybe your husband knows about your little getaways. Don't you judge me, Joy. We don't all have our parents around to dump our kids on when we want to go and live our lives. Oh, look at that. Little Lola's the victim again. You know, some of us consider having our children with us as living our Not lives. Not tonight, apparently. And I think I just remembered why I haven't bothered staying in touch. Too much drama. Hey, don't you fucking touch her! I I'm sorry, I was just trying to keep you from leaving. I'll go. Anyway, sorry for ruining the mood. Just can't stand having something on my chest like that. See how it works, Stu. No, don't come back to the restaurant again. You're finished. Whatever. Y'all are some shady people anyway. Wi-Fi doesn't even work. Dude, my grill, you're in it. <laughs> D. D, it's time to make the break go dark. It's time to make the bright go dark. It's time to make the bright Go! Everybody run! Quick, get his legs. Got it. This way, where he can't find us. Oh, perfect. Hold on to it tightly. Taking it out would cause you to lose too much blood. Awesome. Please tell me someone called 911. We tried, but the service is gone. What? This place is sketchy. Did anybody happen to snag a bottle of wine? Wine? This kid got stabbed and there's a psycho in the house. I don't... That doesn't answer the question. Lola, please. God damn it. Ow! What the fuck? Somebody barricaded the door. It wasn't me. Ask Stu. It was open earlier. Oh, Karen, will you go get me a towel? I think my nose is broken. Care Bear. Towels are in the lower cupboard. Thanks. That helps a lot, Care Bear. Sit down here. 
How long do we have? The barricades have enough power for about an hour. I wouldn't count on that. And why is that? I stabbed one of them and the blood stench is spreading. So? So whichever one of them is the vamp, gonna get hangry soon. Enough with the bullshit, buddy. I'm serious. This is my life's work. Not much of a life then, it seems. Why not lie about something believable to save yourself? What if that's just a distraction? What if he's here for the same thing we are? He's not. I'd have killed him already. Not if I didn't want you to. Yeah, because you're in so much control right now. If it wasn't for me, you'd already be dead. I tracked it to this location, and it's accurate within 15 to 20 yards. I searched the perimeter before entering the house, and I know it's in here. You're lucky you showed up after my scan, or I would have stabbed you all in the chest. I must take a piss. Well, you're gonna have to hold it. Maybe you shouldn't have eaten so much ice cream. Whoa, hey. At the time, I think we all thought that was pretty cool. And does ice cream even turn into piss? Thanks for trying to save my life, guys. But I mean, holy shit, haven't you, have you ever been stabbed? I'm not seeing a way out of this. We just need to work together and we'll make it out of this. Yeah, man, Stu and True can't oh, be beat. please, you're fucked. I'm fucked. We're all fucked in this fucking fuck fest. Okay, wow. If you use that language around the kids, I don't think... Oh. No, you asshole. It turns out my feelings and expressions are slightly different when I'm in the company of murderers instead of my children. Still don't time think just here. because we'll just have to go people, in the corner or I won't something. put you in your place. That's embarrassing. Just let Karen go with me to the bathroom and I won't be alone. No, we're not splitting up. Why not? We're lambs to the slaughter hold up like this. A corner is a lot better than in your pants when you get stabbed. We're sticking together, period. It's better to be embarrassed than dead. Go in the closet. Use one of my shirts to wipe if you have to. I really don't give a shit, but we are staying together. Don't make me fucking tell you again. Sorry, man. What'd you just say? You can't control me, Stu. I'm not your fucking girlfriend. Fine, fuck you, I'm pissing all over your favorite shirt. Aren't you worried you'll kill the wrong person? You're not listening to me. It's a fucking vampire. And not just any vampire, it's one of the last. It's desperate, in survival mode. If it got out, it can't get out. So when we get a hold of these people, how are you going to figure out which one it is? My fang ray is one of the four ways a vamp can be identified. Fang ray? He means this ultrasound looking thing. Hey man, you got a staring problem, motherfucker? You better keep cool, hot stuff. His trigger does most of his talking. I thought of it first, on my own, without knowing how that ultrasound shit works, okay? So give me some fucking credit here. This is what's gonna happen. You're gonna find them, use your little x-ray thing to make me feel better. It's not, it's not an x-ray. Then we're taking the one we came for. The knowledge I share with you now is not given with any expectation that you will live another night to utilize it. There are four ways to identify a vamp. High frequency sound waves, fangs that recede until used, hunger, and the sun. Hunger is our best bet. A starving vampire is careless with its bloodlust, and its fangs show, and its eyes change before they want them to. Trust me when I say my mission is more important than yours. No, it isn't. If we're going to have a chance, I need my walkie back. My partner is watching from outside ready to help.
D, I'm back on the mic. Be ready. Hey, are you okay? Here's your shirt. Oh, sick! What the fuck? Oh my god! It's okay! It's okay! Be quiet! Let it go! I said not to split up. I'm out of here too. Let me know if it smells like piss. It doesn't currently, but if that changes, you're the first to know. I smell pee, they were here. Stuart Kapalski, you know why I'm here. It's time to stop hiding. Time's up, buddy. Holy hell, this piss smells like shit. You keep that pick in your bra? You have like 15 pockets. Sometimes it's best to keep things secret. We don't all have a backpack to carry around like some sort of toddler. They're obviously not here. We should split up and cover more rooms. We shouldn't split up. Just because you're alive doesn't mean you're with us. You're here so we can use you, and so far you seem kind of useless. Useless? I'm the most prepared person in this room. You don't know how many things I got in these pockets. Look at my trench coat. This is all becoming extremely annoying. We need to fix this. Well, since I'm the most prepared, you should let me take lead and we could possibly get out of this alive. You're alive to help us, so if you've got any bright ideas, you better share them now. We are wasting time. Which is why we're going to split up. Don't be an idiot. Strength in numbers. If we split up, there's no way we're going to stop it. I don't appreciate your tone right now. If you're so fucking smart, then you can go out there and find them yourself. Stay back. Don't touch me. Stay back. Tackle this bitch.
Baby. <sighs> How long have we been in here? I don't know. I'd say about 45 minutes. <gasps> are they gone? No, they are definitely still here. Who are they? <clears throat> they call themselves the Sanders siblings. And they showed up when the power went out, you know, when I was looking for you and your friends. I heard something at the door, and I thought it might be my partner because my walkie was messing up. Well, I don't really remember if my walkie was messing up. I just thought it was my partner. Or, you know, maybe a nosy neighbor. Or, you know, a stray cat. I heard something. I knew I heard something. And then I got closer to the door and I heard conversation. They were talking about somebody's kid. So I knew it wasn't my partner. I knew I had to get rid of him. I didn't know what to do. So I just opened the door. And they said something about it not being my night. And I said, I'm not interested. And I shut the door in their faces, which I don't think they liked because immediately after they barged through the door, two of them tackling me, two of them tackled me one, the guy in the gray, he's the leader, and then this naggy lady who doesn't use her pockets right, they were both fighting me, but I, I fended them off pretty well. You know, I had like a unfound strength that came out of me, like, you know, a mother protecting her newborn. Uh, the guy in, in the black, he didn't really say anything, which is oddly really frustrating when you're trying to have a verbal dispute. Anywho, I dropped my fang ray in the commotion, and uh, it was it was a pretty even fight. I think I held my own pretty well, just so you guys know. But yeah, they thought I was Stuart Kopolsky, the guy who lives here. And once I told them that I wasn't, that I was actually here to look for a vampire, they were cool with it and let me help. Wait, what do you mean vampire? I mean the words that I say when I say them. Fangs, sucking blood, hates the sun, vampire. Maybe it's one of them that showed up that's the vampire. Are they still in the house or are they outside? Nobody leaves this place until I find exactly what I'm looking for. The kid's dead and didn't come back. I scanned you chicks while you were sleeping, so you're clear. It's down to one female and two males, my favorite. I just hope it's not an SS. An SS? What, what's that mean? It's short for self-sustainer. It means a vampire that can live off its own blood. How does that work? Do they bite themselves? Their fangs can't puncture their own skin. It has to be female. Say again? Do you like me, Harry Man? Do I do it for you? Uh, I a wife right here. Oh, Jesus, true. Just say she's hot. I would kill for that body. Well, fine then. I'll say it. You're a damn fine woman. If you belong to me, would you take care of me? Well, if I'm gonna leave my wife, I'd like to think we're equal partners. Uh, communication, it... My brother was my lover, and now I need another. I'm having you, whether you're alive or dead. 
When you get a free moment, can you see how many bullets are in that thing? And put one in my fucking skull, please? Thanks a bunch. can't. I don't have it. Yes, you do. How many more will you murder? I, I haven't killed anybody. Everyone gone tonight is gone because of you. We both demand answers. I'm so hungry. Don't move. Relax. It's just me. I know. Is he still, uh, doing that thing with the bodies in there? Oh, like you've never fed a corpse food from their realm and spoke through them as a puppet? He says one of you's a vampire. Do you want to lick that blood off your shirt? Something tells me if one of them was a vamp, they would have killed each other by now. These women are clear. Keep everyone here, and keep an eye out, though. I'm gonna go make sure your brother isn't pissing off the wrong guy. Give us it. Give us it. Why don't you give in and give us it? Um, hello? I'm just going to scan him real quick. If it's okay, then I'll get out of your hair. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for a vamp stamp. A vamp stamp? Ugh. Every vampire has a tattoo to cover up where they were bitten. It's usually an embarrassing place, and uh, they don't like to talk about it. You're human. Why are you letting your friends die? We aren't friends. Turns out maybe we never were. Okay, what about you? Why not give up what they want to save yourself? Because if they take it, then I can't be a dad. If they kill you, you can't be a dad. Let them have it. Okay. All right. It's inside Griff. You hit it. You get it.
what is that thing? for I'm selling it to the highest bidder then I'm grabbing my kid and getting the hell out of here are any of you curious what this little item does honestly I'm kind of over surprises Nobody cares, but it looks like you're going to tell us anyway. It's a kill pill. And a special one. It's coated with the same poison outside and on the inside. If you're in the field and want the pain to stop, you can at least try to take the enemy with you, if they touch it at least. I've had it for seven years. <sighs> Okay, so, what do you do that you would need such a pill? I'm a contract killer. It pays well. Well, that's my cue! Sit down. I need to use the bathroom. Then go in the corner or I'll something. I'll just take a minute. It's not like I can go anywhere with these force fields everywhere. Holy shit! You got it! I can't believe it! We did it, baby sister. We did it together. We're gonna call your boss, drop off this little piece of heaven, snag the little guy, then boom, hit the fucking road like it badmouthed me. Hell yeah! What about them? Navish, it's your lucky night. Stuart Kapolsky just died. He's dead now. Well, hell, even better. We're going to help you kill your vampire. Did you see Fangs? Did they start panning heavily? W which one? No, but we owe them for killing our brother. Especially that one. But I thought you loved me. I was going to use you, but not now. Manipulating you was too easy not to try. What happens to a vampire when you shoot one in the head, Navish? Nothing. Ah! Hmm. Guess it wasn't him. True. True, true, true. Oh, sweetie. Oh, no. Which one of these bitches is next? Or should I just shoot them both? Damn it, I keep fucking missing! Give me mine back!
found a way for me. You're the only one left! I have to make sure I can trust you! No! Stay back. It's on me too. I don't want you to get hurt. She seems okay. Jesus! I should have killed you when you opened the door. Do you know why I talk like that? I used to be an amateur wrestler. It's not just about the physique, the costume, it's about the performance. The character you make yourself. to a human when they get staked in the heart, same as a vamp. What's in the container? Sorry, m'lady. Afraid you got me mixed up with someone else. Cut the bullshit. I saw you lift it off of him when you stabbed him. Ugh. What is it, huh? No. What the fuck is it? It's a recipe. Uh, it's a recipe. For what? 
disaster. Just tell us, you asshole. We know it's special. Look, I don't know what it does. It just... It makes more. It makes more of stuff. They put it on a quarter pounder, and it turns into a fucking bull on the counter, all right? Makes more. Like duplicates? Yeah, apparently, whatever it touches. Probably should be wearing gloves. Oh, sweetie, are you okay? Why is my sister dead? One of you want to explain that to me? We have to find a way out of here. Now we have a way to make a child. It's nice of you to still want that, but I think we're too far gone to get out of this mess. It's not too late. You held the container, there might still be a way. Get out of here after all. See? We just need to get out of here before that bastard knavish. Ouch. My feelings. Oh, for fuck's sake. Put your ultrasound away. It's over. All of our friends are dead. What are you worried about anyway? I thought you said we were cleared. First of all, it's not an ultrasound. It's a fang ray. I thought of it first. Secondly, she has a tattoo on her inner thigh. I think I would know if that were true. You looked up my skirt? She can fool you. She has that power. You don't see anything, she doesn't want you to. She probably has an HH too. Oh, here we go. More made-up terms from the friend murderer. A human helper is very real. They manage the day life and promote the facade Fuck of a normal you. existence. Fine. I'll be honest. I covered it up with makeup because we were supposed to get them together. Oh, please. You expect us to believe that? You're practically begging to get caught. If it was her, I'd have to be the helper, and I'm not. The helper can be anyone, anywhere. Most communication is digital now. Physical human interaction is scarce and impersonal. I can save you. My partner D is waiting for us, right outside this door. I can't risk taking her. The signs are too strong. It has to be just you. Five feet outside that door, we're alive. We made it. You go with her, she'll kill you. Lies. Or worse. Please tell me you checked the attic. There's an attic? Ladies, I'm sorry for what you've had to go through. If that is what I think it is, you'll understand my behavior. Now, I've been wrong about pretty much everything tonight, so to earn your trust, here, that gun won't do anything. Hit it in the heart, or it'll tear you apart. 
We should wait for backup to see if your partner can get inside somehow. If it is what you say it is, the window up there should kill it at sunrise, right? If you think you, you said know so much that you've been wrong all night. We wait till morning, make sure it's dead, and then have your partner bail us out. If you think it's just going to wait to die like you want to do, you are wrong. But that does give me an idea. D, change of plans. It's in the attic and I'm told there's a window up there. Take the crossbow up the tree stand and wait for my signal. Shit. Let's get crack lacking. I have a confession to make. I've never seen one in person. Are you fucking serious right now? You're walking around killing people. You don't even know if they're Shh! Quiet. They are real. I've got them on video, but they have heightened senses, especially regarding meals. You and when I get in the room, they vanish. Up there, or I'm gonna think you're one yourself. Hey, let's not. I'm offended by that statement. Sincerely. Having said that, that attitude will serve you well in these next moments. Maybe we should go grab that gun. Okay, okay. Davis Revere. Of course it is I, evil's natural enemy. You who exterminates a species you do not understand. You who kills indiscriminately with no compassion for your own kind. You who uses a tool for finding life to make death. It's not an ultrasound. You who destroys everyone you know. You who leaves your partner outside alone defense Lola what are you doing stop D D are you okay come in it's time to paint the drainer it's time to paint the drainer you who used to be alive now dies Lola stop snap out of it hey Did you hear that? The door's open! Back, vile demon! Satan's spawn of hell! Uh. is not done here yet! There's... Oh, fuck you all! You're all fucking vamps! Get the fuck off of me! You're all gonna get staked! Oh, praise be to thy glorious hey, sun you can't who do shines that. down the vengeance he for evil! eventually helped us! Praise your drops of glory! Fuck you all! Ah, you're making a grave mistake! This won't be the last time you see Navis Revere! Navis Revere. That's one of his favorites. His real name is Norman, and 
He's my patient. Patient? Norman is in need of intensive psychiatric care. You see, his mother died at a very early age, and he's since been unable to cope. If I hadn't tracked him here when I did, he would have killed you both, truly believing that uh, you were actually vampires. No, you're wrong. Or, at least, I need you to be. He has a partner who's been helping him all night. His name's Dee. Well, ladies, unfortunately, that's my cue. I'm just glad that you're okay. He's been following all of Navish Norman's instructions. And uh, by the way, his partner? What does his voice sound like? No batteries. Care Bear? Baby?